Hi, welcome to the Let It Fly show. I am Michael Severe, joined by Josh Jones, legendary Central High graduate, three-time state champion, of course. Creighton Blue Jay as well. Um, it, it's getting to the point now where your best teams at Creighton, yep. where they used to be maybe in the top five, uh-huh. they keep adding all these good teams at Creighton. You guys just keep getting I know, man. pushed down, pushed down. And now this year, yeah. everything you hear out of practice – Creighton team loaded, man. I know. I've, I've been by practice a couple of times. Yeah, bro. me too. The, the the chemistry is like, I'm not gonna say they weren't friends last year. Yeah, yeah. But this is different this year. You know who looks know good? You know who looks good? Who's that? Baylor. Oh, like yeah. he is. It's I mean, he was always thing. maybe it's the haircut, but yeah. he's always been mature. Yeah. But now he's like he gets the ball and he goes get to his spot, whatever sure. spot he wants. Yeah. He hits the shot, gets yeah. rid of the ball. He's he's playing like a 20. Is he 24? Yeah. It got to be. He's pretty old. Yeah. But the thing is, man, it's that year. It's one of those things where it's like, bro, if you want to get to your goals. Yeah, got to do it this year. That's it. And it's wide open, too. I know. And they're the oldest yeah. team. That's not okay. Not oldest. They're the most veteran team uh-huh. <laughs> in the Big East. Uh, yeah, sure. Not oldest. Sure. They're, mo- they're yeah. the most veteran team. Yeah. You can't be saying oldest. Nah. I'm 54 years old. I can be talking about the oldest nah, people. I, I feel I bad mean, for myself. I'm also. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Yeah. I always tell people that. You, you meet certain people. And you're like, okay, so you were here already. Yeah. You experienced a long life. Yeah. Then you came back. Baylor's like borderline one of those guys that played 10 years in college. He is. Borderline. He is. Yeah, he is. Doug, McD- <laughs> Doug McDermott. Yeah. Uh, we Grant, are, Grant Gibbs. Grant, Grant Gibbs, Gibbs did Grant play Gibbs. forever. Goodness <laughs> gracious. And no one ever made more people angrier. Than Grant Greg Gibbs. Gibbs. <laughs> he had everybody pissed off. Yeah, Nobody liked Grant Gibbs. Uh, People on the Creighton team was like, oh, he dirty. I don't know. <laughs> no, man. Grant, to me, man, uh, I don't think Grant was dirty. He just he just did whatever it took to win. In the immortal words, and we talked about this last week, <laughs> wrestling, in the immortal words, okay, of Dusty Rose, all right? Yeah. Oh, win man. if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. Hey, I mean, hey, that's him, bro. Do you remember the NCAA tournament when they went to commercial North break? Carolina thing? That wink? Oh, man. He was Vince McMahon that yeah, day. He was. He, he, was, he, was a, he was a nut, dude. That's he funny, was a straight man. up nut. We are live inside the Let It Fly Sports Bar, of course, down in the Capitol District. It is an upscale, elevated. I love it. Elevated sports bar. Everybody I bring here. Yep. First time they walk in, they go, what is this? The, Johnny I, Rogers. Yeah, I thought you were going to say they, they, look, they look up. They're looking around. <laughs> yeah. Rick Upchurch, former, I mean, he's the guy who played for the Denver Broncos. He's in their ring of fame, everything. He comes in and he goes, I've never seen a sports bar like this. For sure. And I say that because they don't exist. Right. They're, well, they do this one. Exists. Yeah, right. Now I feel you. And maybe they'll build yeah. some more. But it's, like, it's a prototype. It is a prototype. For and sure. hopefully, I sent some information. By the way, happy birthday. We're taping this on Thursday. Yeah. Happy bir- Thursday, the 28th. Uh-huh. Happy birthday to Ryan Miller. Uh, my guy. Assistant head coach over happy there. Birthday, coach. Yep. 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 Happy birthday oh, to him. Happy birthday, my boy, Bud Crawford. What's today? Uh, it was yesterday. Oh, yesterday, yeah. yeah. I saw Bud posting all these videos and pictures of <laughs> him playing flag football. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. Like, hey, that's the thing, That man. dude is that's overly competitive. No, that's the thing. And when I tell you, like, um, like, if there was like a flag football draft, bro, yeah. he go top he five. He go top five, yeah. He go top two. I believe it. Yeah. I believe it completely. I saw him at the Central game last let, week. Let him tell it he played quarterback. Oh, that's what he was playing. I know. He was playing quarterback. <laughs> um, so I saw him at the Central game. Yeah. Bud Crawford in the middle of, you know, his whole entourage, family and everybody, right? <laughs> Omaha North. Normally, yeah. the greatest fighter on the planet right. leaves at halftime. Leaves in the third quarter. Dude was there till the very end. Yeah, because Buzz is a fan of sports. Yeah, he's a fan. He Period. was there to the very end. And yeah. the Central fans, let's just say they were angry. Yeah. They were not pleased. Hey. They were pissed off. Man, hold on. Let me tell <laughs> they you They were this, very man. angry. Look, man, there was a flag call, man. And I, I know. I was like standing it, right there. That wasn't from the football guy. Uh, it's, they, they, the they called, in a, they called interference the on a fourth down. Yeah. If you didn't see the game or hear about it, then <laughs> Omaha North proceeded to go down and get a score with 31 seconds left to get the lead. Yeah. And then Central really couldn't get anything going in the yeah. next drive, and so yeah. Central falls to uh, Omaha North. Great game. It was. Central, it was man, game. they got a young quarterback, and I feel like um, like he liked to scramble a lot. He does. Maybe he does. some of that is based upon, like, the. I can't even say it's on the line not holding. I just mm. feel like he likes to try to make They're plays. They're a year away. Yeah. Uh, from Compared to what we saw them last year when they were horrible. Right. To where they are now, right. the jump is enormous. I can't even. Yeah. I'm so happy um, that they're playing because I got to go to their games. Sean Sean Prince, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, Two touchdown catches. Legendary. Got the lead, and then yeah. you know, hey, they lost the lead. I, w- um, I used to coach him. I used to skills train him. Mm-hmm. And also, um, he was a, um, my boy, Nelson. Um, was his coach. Mm-hmm. This dude been like that his whole. Really? Yeah. The only thing I got to say to him is, 
I'm not questioning his toughness. Uh, but he's uh, got to yeah. play consecutive plays. For sure. You make one big play. You ain't oh, got yeah. you ain't yeah, go to the bench no, and yeah. get some water. You yeah. stay in, you make another yeah. big play. You build on yeah. your plays. For sure. Earlier this week, uh, Coach Rule called it scaffolding. Mm-hmm. You are scaffolding all the way up. So you're constantly building up, building up. Next thing you know, you look up and you're up the top. Right. So you got to do that. You can't be scaffolding yeah, and sure. take a piece of yeah, scaffolding it, down it, and go back. It, it does always seem like you gotta, central that. Central uh, will make plays, make plays. Yeah. He'll make a big play. Yeah. Then you don't see then he, nothing. Then he goes out for a while. You yeah. can't, that can't nah, happen. Yeah. Come on, oh. Coach Mackey. On this no, episode, <laughs> on this episode, David Horn has staff too. Big yeah, fan of David Horn. Yeah, I'm gonna get at him yeah, too. Big, yeah. Do you know his uh, his daughter? Who um, I guess she's like 23 or 24. His his mom used to be in the same office as my my wife over okay, at UNMC. Okay, yeah. And I remember when she was born, getting her. Um, she's gonna be a doctor. She's at USC. Ooh, went to Xavier in New Orleans. That's amazing. And now is at USC to be a doctor. Congrats. Good, I mean, congratulations yeah, to David. For I mean, sure. and, you know. You know, I don't know how much raising he did, but did a good job. Yeah. Um, on the show today, Gabe Irvin, uh-huh. injured running back for the University of Nebraska, but we're excited to have him. Yeah, for sure. And we'll sure. chat with him. I feel like he'd been injured. Like, if if there well, was yeah, a death, and, and I'm saying this, like, yeah. figuratively. I know it sucks. Like, it's like he's been injured. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, you, he missed an entire year, came back, missed four games. Now finally came back. He's healthy. He's leading the team right. in rushing, and then and it's crazy. Boom. Like every yep. time he's been injured, he's always made some noise. Where it's like, okay, I'm yeah, ready. you're like you're excited about him. I was boom. excited. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't want him to be the 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 dictionary photograph of the word injured. We gotta get him going, man. You well, know. Well, see, Richard Pryor said a long time ago, that's a boy that got potential. <laughs> he po. We just gotta find potential. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that meant, that's what race. I had that album too, by the way. Um, Friday right. night yeah. here at the bar, Creighton and Butler, five p.m. Yeah. Nebraska volleyball against Purdue, yeah. six p.m. Hey, this day year. I think so. Mm-hmm. Saturday, you've got Michigan, Nebraska. Obviously, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Two thirty. Any of the college ball watch party? Yeah. You come out to the bar and check that hey, out. Hey, we still we gotta say. Uh, I think USC Colorado is big too. Still, man. I just think so. 100 percent all right man yeah you gotta um, throw that in there man hey I'm, well that's not a part hey, of our schedule all right well let me let me at this particular sports bar it, it's, it, <laughs> it, it can be turn that on uh, someplace else turn that on here saturday yeah. when and when when usc's up by 28 to turn off all right uh, man. hey <laughs> you gonna make me say i think prime will win uh i ain't gonna go there i've been saying i think, <laughs> I don't wanna go there, I think they're gonna finish I don't wanna go there. they're gonna finish with the same record as nebraska i think better. that's what i think there's the same record as Nebraska. Yeah. Now remember, I'm a Husker fan. That I'm not saying you're not. Yeah. Okay. They are. All right, yeah. A talented team that doesn't have a lot of depth. They they and, set and they they're seven eight guys away. They're getting hurt. Seven they're eight hurt. guys away. They're, and they're on oh. the line. On line. Offensive line and defensive line. Yeah. Yeah. Ten guys away. <laughs> yeah. Um, also on Sunday, the NFL watch party. Yeah. You got brunch from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's nice. You got Creighton volleyball versus Seton Hall at one. Yeah. Chiefs and Jets are the highlighted game That's Sunday gonna be night. Fun, man. Industry night as usual. You know what industry night is? No, you ever work in, no, so if you, you work in the, if you work in the industry, yeah. right? You work in a restaurant. Uh huh. Friday night, you are working. Oh, so you oh yeah, Saturday, I know about that. Yeah, you're yeah, working. Yeah, yeah. Sunday yeah. night, you're like, let me chill a little bit. Yeah, Go out, sure. and hang out from nine to close. Industry yeah. night here yeah, for D- all those DC, workers. Yeah, uh, DC. I got a uh, cousin on a restaurant in DC. Yeah, and uh, they do industry night uh, all the time out there. All the workers just go kick it go in kick the spot. It. So exactly. come to let it fly, I guess. You know? Re- reserve a table. It's yeah. going to be crowded for the Nebraska game on Saturday. So if you want to reserve a table, just go to the website. For it's sure. right at the top, letitflyomaha.com. Yeah. Okay, favorite dish of the week. What you got? Uh, Man, the thing is I have some things in my mind that I want to try. Okay. But I'm just so consistent with what I like. Yeah. But if I can throw something out, man, I'm going to go back to one of those steaks. You know why? Because why? I haven't had – Nothing but a steak bite when it first had the main grand opening, mm-hmm, but yeah. I haven't actually ordered the steak. Yeah. Yet. Okay. I gotta do it. I, I had want that tomahawk steak, man. I had. You they know? have a tomahawk steak here. No. They do. They don't. They I don't. They have no tomahawk steak on this menu, man. What, what's it called? That would be mean. They have an eight ounce fillet. I yeah. swear, I thought they had a big. And I believe uh, the fillet is. Yeah, stri- either a strip oh, okay. or fillet. Well, we demoting the size. Yeah, because that's, guess. you know, the tomahawk. I don't know why. Maybe I want a tomahawk Tom, steak. You walk up upside yeah. of your head. Yeah, no, no, no. Well, no. I want some steak, basically. Okay, that's fine. I'm, I'm hungry. <clears throat> I am. I'm, uh, I'm hungry. I'm going with the trio. Yeah. The taco trio. It is very filling. Oh, yeah. You can get ground you, beef you, or you, you get a, shredded you're a chicken. food guy. I'm not. I do like tapas. Yeah. I'm a tapas guy. Uh-huh. Give me a little bit of something, a little bit of something. Yeah. But I like it because you can get you an appetizer and get the trio, and it's the perfect meal. Yeah. Sometimes. The appetizer and a meal is almost too much. Right. 
but not with the trio. Well, I will Ground say beef here, or chicken, by the way. here, though, Tacos. Um, Taco. all, the, all the food here, I believe, are nice mm. sized portions, man. I think so. So you can really just get you a, a appetizer, man, and not even have to worry about the entree. You, you know? can do that, especially right? if you end up yeah. getting those nachos. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But anyway, I, wanna, no I, wanna, I want a steak, man. We got to make that happen. <laughs> I thought you were getting wings. That's why I said I, I usually go with what I know. I want to say wings again, but no, okay. I got to. Because every time gotta, you ask for wings, they never bring them to you. <laughs> uh, we're going to preview guy, Nebraska man. and Michigan. <laughs> I've got people to watch out for. we got keys coming up later, as yeah. always. Yeah. Um, what to expect. Number two team in the country yep. coming into the house, 2.30 on Can't Big Fox. Can't wait to talk about it. Also, some players to watch, and I mentioned keys in the game yep. as well. And, yep. and you know, Gabe Irvin will join us. We can't wait to talk to him. Score predictions from last week. I was kind of close. I had 34 14. Uh huh. Ended up 28 14. Right. It could have easily been 34. Wait, wait, what was wait, wait, score? Wait, hold on. Um, I forgot what I said. 21 7. No, hell no. I didn't That's say what that. you did. And I, we were all like, what? No, you said no. 21 14. Yeah, I'm about to say, play that. You back. said 21 yeah. 14. And I remember who was over in the corner. Yeah. Everybody was like, what you talking about? No. What you man. talking about, Willis? Hey, listen, man. All, all these these Kool Aid drinkers, man. These It's these, not Kool Aid. These, these, we we knew that they would score yeah. close to 30 against I didn't think so. Louisiana Tech. I didn't think so. And they get the late touchdown to make yeah. it 14. It could have easily been 20. Let me to ask seven. you this, though. Yeah. Um, and then they had the kickoff return call back, too. Nebraska had two touchdowns call back. We want to get into it now. Not a lot. Uh, for what? But, uh, just asking about, I mean, what's your thoughts about, like, no, what you think, how you think they played against Louisiana Tech? I mean, I... We'll go back to that. All right, cool. Um, I feel the boys like... from uh, Ruston. Um, it's not about the win. I mean, that was a given. Yeah. It, it, it's not about that. I just think the team overall looked like uh, um, it was starting to, like, come to life in some of the, the potential areas that you can see, like, man... At their best, they'll be... Yeah, sure. You know, it was one of those things for mm -hmm. me. Yeah. I thought it was cool. Well, they rushed over 300 yards. Exactly. Which we thought was going to happen. Right. Again, they held another team below 50 net yards. Yeah. 48 yards rushing for Louisiana Tech, which is incredible. Nebraska right now, among Power 5 schools, is number one rush defense in all of football. That's crazy. They are number one. Number two, if you add in a non-Power 5 team. That's, That's pretty crazy. good. They're having given up 1.8 yards. That's crazy. Um, and about 46, 47 yards a game, which is pretty cool. Let me give you these numbers. So yeah. two plays. They ran sprint option. Yep. And in the third quarter, they started running that I formation heavy set, right? Mm -hmm. In the sprint option game, seven times they ran it, 160 total yards. Oh, wow. It could have been more because yeah. one was called back, or at right. least part of it called back, right? Right. Then in the I formation, starting in the third quarter and lined up in that, 14 plays for 110 yards. Who's your quarterback? Oh, you just jumped. Yeah. 21 plays for uh, 270 <laughs> yards yeah. on two particular plays. Yeah, but the reason why— Harburg is starting. I mean, there's no—it yeah, the, 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 doesn't make any sense. He's, yeah. he's started the last two games. He's been I successful. Told you they were change he's been successful, yeah. and now he'll get beat up probably by Michigan. Yeah, and they'll have a decision on what to do when they have the next game against Illinois. Yeah, but, it's, but it's why what we not, knew was going to happen? But, but why not get beat up by Michigan and still give him some burn? Like just let him. Fight I'm not saying it. he's not going to play well. Yeah. I'm saying I think so they always no. said when Jeff Sims gets healthy, yeah. he's going to play. For sure, he's not healthy yet. Right, yeah. he's just kind of part-time healthy. Right. So I think Harburg's had two really good games yeah. against two teams that aren't considered to be yet that good. Mm -hmm. Now he gets a Michigan team that we know how good they are, number two in the country. We'll see yeah. how he does. Now, this could be, <clears throat> and this is like, I guess, apples and oranges, but maybe like a, a Jalen Hurts to a situation where you just go a different direction with a new quarterback. You is know it, what? Is the, it thing, like the funny that? thing about that one was is that Jalen Hurts was winning, mm -hmm. right, and was playing well. Right. They thought the upside yeah. was just more with Tua. Makes sense. But in the end, what mm -hmm. happened? Tua got knocked out of a game. Jalen Hurts comes back in, saves their season. He's a legend, bro. Legend. That 30 for Absolute, 30, huh? Absolutely a legend. <laughs> uh, talking about Michigan, yeah. they are number one in the country in opponents' points per game, yep. number one in points per play and yards per game. I think they're the best team in the country. They have not yet given up double digits. They have not yet given up double digits to a team. Uh, they're allowing 32% on third down. They're 10th in opponents' yards per play. Right. And the passing game is third. They're completing – Mm -hmm. Damn near 80% of their passes. Now, so with that being said, you, 10.2 yards of completion. You, you said something about Colorado. Can we see an Oregon, Colorado with a Nebraska, Michigan? Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. When we get to the end, I'm not going to give it away, but yeah, for I, sure. the score I picked, yeah, I, I could see that happening. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Michigan's really good. Now, they're not as explosive as Oregon yeah. is, and they're not playing at home. Don't you feel they're like not playing at home. Don't you feel Oregon like did that at home. Michigan is one of those teams where I feel like they've always been on the cusp of winning it all. Well, last year, one game away. Yeah, but like every one game year. Away. And that mm -hmm. was funny when we talked to uh, 
uh, all the way to Timmy yep. about. Yep. He said, "My bad," <laughs> but but I just feel like Michigan is one of those teams where they can always be where they are right now. Yeah. But for some reason, they just fall well, short. Well, that's kind of why they went away yeah. from uh, Cade McNamara yeah. to full time JJ McCarthy because again, like you were saying earlier with Tua and Hurts. Yeah. They th- one guy was good, but I think the other guy has got a higher upside. Yeah, and, McCarthy, and we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see if he does. I, I mean, I, he's had his moments where he had three turnovers. Right. He had, the defense is holding those guys. For they sure. can run the ball. We'll see how JJ yeah. McCarthy I, I how think, he is um, in a big game. I need Ohio State to keep winning. Yeah, because it makes for a better game when they play. It does. It Man. does. Although I would have, I prefer Notre Dame beat Ohio State because I think Ohio State's a bunch. Yeah, of and my guy X Watch is on that team. You know. I yeah. Gotta, I gotta. You know, it it was crazy is I didn't have time to watch that game, mm-hmm. but when I turned it on, yeah. it was running in the touchdown. Yeah. Bro, I was sick. Ek, ek, <laughs> I felt Xavier like I watched Watts. all four quarters. Yeah. yeah. One, one, a couple more things. Yeah. So Rutgers played Michigan last week. Yeah. They had 135 yards in the first quarter. Right. They had 122 the rest of the game. Dang. Three more quarters, they only managed 120 yards. That defense is, is yeah, bad. For sure. It's got two running backs, Blake Corm, yeah. very good player, tough yeah. runner coming off the ACL, and and uh, Donovan Edwards, who yeah. I'm worried about him coming out of the backfield. The kid right. catches passes. He's got 11 receptions for 100 yards. Nebraska's linebackers, I think, are good, but depending on who's playing, right. Makai – uh, Bayer only's got a few starts or yep. a couple games. Yep. So you worry about him getting caught up sometimes. Henrich, you worry about his speed and coverage. So, yeah. you know, so you worry about yeah. that a little bit. College then, football has been fun this year, man. Man, it's a blast. The, the storylines yeah. have been crazy. And I think this it would have been great if this year was the year where we actually had yeah, the 12. Should, man, me too, because man. <laughs> me too, man. I probably, yeah. You probably I could agree. name – at least seven teams for sure. that could win the national championship, yep, right? Because yep, yep, yep. we go Ohio State, Michigan, yep. right? Hell, Notre Dame's got one loss. They could still go 11-1. Yep. and one. You, they can would say be in Flo- there. you can say Florida. See, I, I don't know about Florida. I mean, Florida State. Florida Sorry, State for sure. I mean, Florida State. Florida State for sure, yep. Yeah. Then you can go USC, Oregon, yeah. Washington, and Utah, all yeah. from the and Pac-12. We even say Georgia either. And then, of course, you got Georgia and – Alabama's probably, you know, they still they, got when, one when loss. When it's time, it's time. They still got one yeah, loss, so we'll see what happens with yeah, that. You can't knock them until yeah. they just do it themselves. Real quick, defense. One of the guys to watch out for is Chris Jenkins. Okay. I tell everybody to do this. Google Chris Jenkins yeah. weights. Okay, just uh, do that. What he squat, 1,500 pounds? Well, this is what he did. So he does this thing. There's this type of um, squat okay. where you lay on the ground with this big weight in the air. Yeah. And then you basically get up with it. Oh, I know. I did that before. And uh, it's like full body strength. He did it with like 180 pounds. Ooh. It's incredible to watch. He's a, he's it's a, like a Romanian squad him. or something League like him that. him tomorrow. He's ridiculous. So Chris Jake is number 94. Watch out for him. Yeah. Uh, he's, got, he's got 12 tackles, three tackles for loss. He's got a sack. Watch out for him on defense. And their offenses. They got my boy. Anybody named Cornelius? My boy. I love the name Cornelius. For sure. Couldn't do it. My kids couldn't pull it off, but Cornelius Johnson. All right, right now, all you got to do is just name him. Cornelius Johnson, <laughs> 13 receptions, 239 yards. For Watch sure. out for number six, Cornelius Johnson. For sure. Um, <laughs> that's the way it works. Yeah. Uh, coming up after the break, we're going to talk to Gabe Bourbon, yep. right? Running back for Nebraska. That's going to be cool. And then after his interview, we'll do keys mm-hmm. and a prediction as well. Um, come on out to the sports bar. Yeah, come right now. Yeah, right yeah, now. No doubt. We have a bunch of people in here that can be watching uh, for Gabe Irvin as well because we'll have that up over the bar. A lot of times when we have a, a Husker in or a former Husker, we'll broadcast it in the bar too so you can hear the interview that's going on. For sure. So coming up next on Let It Fly Show, Gabe Irvin. Welcome back to the Let It Fly Show. Michael Severe, Josh Jones. We're joined by Nebraska running back, redshirt sophomore Gabe Irvin. We appreciate you taking the time, man. How you doing? So I'm doing good, man. You know, just happy to be here. Happy to be with y'all. Yeah. I appreciate you guys, you know, putting me on your guys' show. Sergio went okay. Yeah, Sergio went good, man. Sergio went good. Hey, um, t- take us through that. Like, yeah. What like to somebody who don't know what happened? So, fourth quarter, six minutes left in the game. You know, I did an outside zone play to the left, and came down on it wrong, and then somebody kind of you know cleaned up on me in the hip area, and I got up. You know, had so much adrenaline, got up hoping that it wasn't like anything wrong. Right. You know? And I, and I barely could, like, take a step. You know, it was weird. You know, it was kind of like some some weird in the hip area. So I went over to the sideline, and Coach EJ was like, you know, just sit down on it. It's going to be good, man. You know, it's it's, no go, it's going to be good. The, the trainers were saying the same thing. It's probably, like, pulled or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, like, I limped off the sideline. So Dang. I was in the tent just praying, man, really just, like, you know, just like, praying. You know, not just, again. Yeah, you know, just going to God, like, you know, it's just pull. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like nothing, no, nothing worse. So – you know, just limp. I'm, I'm like limping, you know, the whole night. 
Yeah. So, like, in the morning, she was just limping. And that night after the game, went to the um the medical the medical room, and the doctor checked on me, my strength and everything. Mm-hmm. And my strength was good. This rotation was good. And I probably the adrenaline was still kicked into me. So, like, you know, I didn't really, like, know how worse it was, really right. really how bad it was. Mm-hmm. And it didn't hit me until that next morning where, like, it was, it was like, kind of worse than what it was. Dang. So they decided to get an MRI on it, and it, you know, it was – Bad. Let me straighten this real quick for you to get it turned up. Did, what, did, what did the doctor say in terms of you? I know you mentioned before we came on was kind of a, a rarity of that kind of thing happening on the football field. Yeah. So the doctor said it's kind of like a you know that type of injury usually happens in car accidents. Mm. Dang. So mm. it's like a freak accident. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Basically like a free accident. So like you know I mean it really doesn't happen on the football field. Mm. So they really need to get surgery on that. You know. People always talk about like every play is like a. a, a Kind of like a, a, a slow, like a, a, low, a slow speed crash. Yeah. For you, I mean, it literally is yeah. is the case. Um, has it been painful? Uh, how, how's the early on surgery stuff? How's that been for you in terms of getting around? Oh, it's definitely been painful, man. You know, yeah. moving around, moving around is painful, but it's definitely, you know, we had a week out right now, so yeah. you know, a week, a week out is definitely better. You know, improving. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to just take it day by day, man, because you know, like I know, God has definitely put me in a challenge before, yeah. but this is nothing I can't get over. You know, right. I know. I'm just going, you know, I'm going to fall down, but I'm going I'm to get back up and I'm going to keep on swinging, you know, because yeah. that's what my parents and that's what, you know, God raised me to do. Yeah. So I'm just going to, you know, keep on striving, bro, because right. I know, hmm. I know I can, you know, you know, get there. Yeah. You know? What What about like, it seems like I'm going to use the word persistent, like for your career, like injury has been a thing for you. Like, how has that been for you? mentally as an athlete yeah i mean you're in the prime in your career you redshirted you technically what you a redshirt sophomore yep. Yep. yeah so like how does that affect you like as a student athlete you know and you think about the pros and things like that i mean it definitely affects you in a negative way sometimes because like you know you're just, just thinking about you, you keep on getting hurt dog like yeah. you just keep on getting hurt but i got positive people around me that you know you know drilling this in me like like Gabe, it, everything happens for a reason. It's you know, true. It's all, it's all gonna come back to you. Like God has a plan. Like my strength coach said after my my surgery, not after my surgery, but after it happened. Mm-hmm. You know, he said, "There's not a test. There's not a testimony without a test." Mm-hmm. And that thing's just like you know, it's still sticking with me, man. Because like it's so true. Yeah. You know, like there's not a testimony without a test. There's always gonna be a test. You know, yeah. at the end. Of your tests and at the end all of all your challenges you know right. it's going to be a testimony there's going to be a, a story that you're going to be able to tell to your children one day when they're going through something you know like i'm just going it's just making me stronger man you know it's really just making me stronger so i just know at the end of all these you know battles that god is putting me through right it's really going to make a difference at the end it's just going to make me even stronger yeah, Gabe pulled, joining us here i pulled this up on my phone it reminded me so I, i'm i'm big i'm spiritual too bro and um, somebody named Miles Monroe, you should look him up. He passed away now. But uh, he said, God will show you your vision, but not tell you how you're going to get there. Yeah. Sure. So it's like one of those things where it's like. It's an incomplete path. Yeah. Like, what if God told you you're going to be X, whatever it is. But he said, you got to go through this and mm-hmm. that and this yep. and that and that to get there. Would you actually believe in a faith and go through what it takes to get to where you got to go? And that's why I think, like, you're a true testament of what faith is, bro. Mm-hmm. Faith is believing without seeing, but trusting the one who can. not yep. So I respect what you're saying, 100%, yep. 100%. One of the things that we talk about a lot is when you're going through rehab, and you've done it already, you're kind of alone in a little ways because you're out there and you're working out. You're getting your stuff in early but before the other team is. How's, how's your mental game going? How are you feeling in terms of that? Um, and I know there's a lot of help there on campus for you guys, but how are you doing with that? It's definitely better now than it was my freshman year, you know, because I already know how it is. Yeah. So, like, it's really better now just mentally going through this. Like, I'm just, you know, replaying back, like, Gabe, you're, you're just going to be even stronger. You know, mm. just like, you know, just positive things, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's all positive for sure. me right now. You know, no negative, no negative energy. So, I'm just, like, you know, staying to myself, you know, leaning on each other, lean, yeah. leaning on my, my other teammates, you know, because, like, 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 Anthony Grant, like, leaning on him, you know, because mm-hmm. – Man, this is this is his year, man. Uh, I mean, yeah. like, this is no the doubt. best. This is the best thing that probably could have ever happened to him. You for know, him. just for him. Yeah. You know, I'm happy for man, him. Man, look you at know you, what I'm saying? Wow. So, like, you know, just like leaning on him, pouring into him, it's just gonna do, you know, mm. great for him. And and then, you know, eventually, it's gonna like, you know, 
have have mm-hmm. my show. You know how long is the rehab? Did they tell you the uh, kind of estimate of how long it's going to take? Rehab is ten weeks. So I mean, I will be like in full motion in ten weeks. Mm-hmm. So like, but I got to be off it for ten weeks. So, wow. so in ten weeks, I'll I'll start walking again. Probably start you know jogging and stuff like that. But like rehab is short. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's really short. It's just me being off it. It's going to keep you ready for spring ball. I mean, I'm gonna be ready for spring ball. Okay, but you know, who knows what they're gonna try to do with that? Mm-hmm. Smart, but sure. Yeah, mm. hopefully he'd be one of those guys we say play 10 years, right? Yeah, it'd be great, yeah. Because, yeah. you know, you know those guys. Dude, Willis McGahee, we talk about it all the time. Willis McGahee tore everything in his knee, everything. Yeah. Like, not a thing was left. Man went on and had a 9, 10-year career in the NFL. Oh, wow. yeah. It's possible. I know. Yeah, it, it is. is. Especially with science the way it is now. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like back when I had money to cut the whole thing open. And it's yeah. not like that anymore. Yeah. yeah. So, so talk about getting from Buford all the way to here. Yeah, right. So It's a long ways. <laughs> so in Buford, Georgia, when I was recruiting and stuff like that, when – I was in all the recruitment stage. Coach Held and um, Coach Beckton recruited me. They all used to come from the school from Nebraska, and mm-hmm. I was like, "Man, who's Nebraska? I didn't even I didn't even really know about Nebraska." Because I'm about to go there school. in a second. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you know, I'm going there in a second. Yeah. <laughs> I really didn't know about Nebraska in high school until I actually like you know did my research and actually started looking into them. So like these guys, man, they they really stayed in like the relationship with me. For sure. Kept on staying in relationship mm. with me. Didn't give up. You know they they saw they saw something in me. And they I want. They this was kid gonna in recruit you until you said no. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they was really doing you know good in recruitment, and they started getting a good relationship with my mom. They got a great relationship with my mom. I mean, yeah. called her every Sunday. That was a little thing. Yeah. You know, a Sunday call. She looked forward to a coach gonna yeah. call this yeah. now. <laughs> make sure you home. Yeah. <laughs> Look. <laughs> when they came and visited, what did she make? Say again? When they came and like visited food. your house, what would she make in terms of food? What she make? I yeah. don't remember. I don't. I don't think they visited because you know it was they COVID year. You know oh my, my god, died. yeah, it was you know my, Yeah, you know my yeah. recruitment was COVID yeah, year. So that's, like, that's, that we did a lot of stuff digital. I had yeah. to make a decision. Virtual stuff. Did, yeah, yeah, virtual. That's tough. Yeah. You know, that's tough. So I mean, I had to. So you didn't even come visit Nebraska? No, my mm. first day visiting Nebraska was my first day on campus. For sure. That's so, just weird. You know what I'm saying? They'd be like corn fields and everything. I didn't even have an official visit. Right. Yeah. So it's all right to say you know if it's black people here or not. Yeah. To say, bro. I mean, I knew it was definitely different. <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm saying? From Georgia, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Hey, so, so tell me about, um, like, from your you you on the team, so I feel better asking this. Like, what's the vibe like, like from you of like the tradition, the history? Like, how much do you know about what was of what Nebraska was at like glory day, so to speak, and where? Where we're trying to go now, moving forward. Because we talk back. about the past. We a talk lot. about the past a lot. Yeah. Okay. So, um, how much is that like conversation, like floating around about what was versus what's the mindset of what is? Okay. So, um, yeah. See, Coach Rule be talking about it a lot. You know, he wants to he wants to talk about the past, but he doesn't at yeah. the same time. Okay. Because like you know, he wants to like you know build what's coming up in the um like in the future. Yeah. You know what's happening now, but. Coach Brown, you know, is somebody that we have on staff and yeah. he's been on staff since, you know, yeah. all those national championships. Yeah. And, and, you know, he, he, does a, he does a good job of, you know, bringing up of what was, you know, in Nebraska. You know, Nebraska was freaking – Alabama, physical, violent. Yeah. It's yeah. what Alabama. You know, they was bro. they was crazy. You know, mm-hmm. like cut blocking downfield, <laughs> option plays, seventy yard, seventy yard touchdowns. Lauren Phillip going crazy. Okay, so you yeah. know, you know, yeah, Amad Green. Yeah. He know Amad yeah. Green. I know yeah. all those people. You know, Tommy right. Frazier. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Right, so, yeah. you know, like that's Coach good Bra- to know. Coach Brown does that every before a game. You know, he just like you know spits the facts. Yeah. You know, spits what yeah. you know Nebraska had in their you know in their motto, yeah. mm-hmm. their culture, what it used to be like. Yeah, and you know? I asked that to you because it's like maybe these kids don't know what they're playing for. No, but I know Coach Rule makes sure yeah. that you guys. Oh know. yeah, he even shows you old games, sure. old plays, right too, right? Yeah, to kind of make sure they know about it. That's so that's, I think that's that's, that's, that's necessary. Yep. That's now, obviously, hear. they're the future. Yeah, and it's a whole different thing. Exactly. But to know what this university was and what the football program that's was. That's good to hear. Yep. That's that's why when you go out there, there's all those people out there. Oh yeah. For no real. matter what's happening, no matter what, oh, yeah. it's packed like that. Yep. So it's pretty cool to see that. Well, how how difficult was it? So you mentioned how those coaches, you know, they had a relationship with your mom and obviously a relationship with you, and then they're gone. How tough was that to have the old coaching staff leave and new coaching staff come in? So, I mean, it was very tough, you know. It was very tough from that, that coaching staff that recruited me mm-hmm. and then when they left and the new coaching staff came in, I mean, it was, it was tough, man, mm. you know, because, like, you know. Was you uncertain they, on, like, if they going to rock with you or yeah, not? Yeah, I mean, what? And that's, what, that's what I'm getting into, you know what I'm okay. saying? Like, new coaching staff came in and it wasn't like the old coaching staff and how they felt about me, right. you know what I'm saying? And I was coming back from injury, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it kind of, you know. Like, damaged goods. Yeah, you know, it kind of took place on that. Like, they mm-hmm. was just like. 
Like, who's this? They knew who it was because Coach Frost, but like, Coach Frost kind of handed the offense to Whipple. Mm-hmm. So, Whipple had say into, you know, who plays or not. Mm-hmm. So, like, really just fell, fell behind, dog. Right. You know what I'm saying? Trying to, like, get up, trying mm-hmm. to get up. But, like, I mean, I, mean, I still respect them as, as coaches, no you doubt. know, at the end of the day. No mm-hmm. But, you know, that happened. You know, that season happened in 2022. And then the next coaching staff came in. The rural, rural coaching staff yeah. came in. And they came in like the first coaching staff. You know what I'm saying? Like, in yeah. terms of, like, how they viewed how me they and views, yeah. how they felt about me. So, yeah. like. I mean, everything was just feeling like the first year again, man. I was, no it, was it was good. Yeah. You know, it was really good. And then things went downhill in Northern Illinois. But you know, just gotta. I know that that staff is gonna be there, and yeah. I know they got my back. My back, and I'm just, I'm mm. so glad that they came in here, bro. Like, dang, they, okay, they, they, they're yeah. a real true coaching staff. They don't, they don't so. only care about you as a player. They really care about you as a person, man. I mean, they, it's like family with that coaching yeah. staff. Mm-hmm. It's really they, I mean, they locked up, locked in. Yeah. So I mean, man, Coach TJ was. Had some real tears when he was talking about his old team back at UConn. Yeah, how you, much that, and that's him. how you saw, yeah, like, his yeah. character. Coach EJ really cares about us, man. Yeah. I mean, he, he didn't stop crying after when he – You were like, surprised, it looked like. Yeah, <laughs> when, he, when, he heard about, when he heard about me and Ramirez, because Ramirez oh, went down too. Same mm-hmm. thing, his shoulder, yeah. Mm-hmm. So two of his backs went down. I mean, that dude was – it took him some days to recover from that. But, yeah, you know, we got him. You know, we, yeah. you know, we got to move forward and, you know, pour into the guys that's in the room right now. No doubt. How do you but, be the best teammate you can moving forward? I mean, you're about to play Michigan. Yeah, like, I know. Um, like, how do you, like, still lead in other facets of your team mm-hmm. since you can't physically be there? So, if I, like, if I see things on the field or if I see things that, you know, I feel like I can, I saw or I can do, I mean, really just tell them. I mean, like, encourage them, you know, when things get hard, because this, this is a season, man. Football season. I know. It, it's it'd, a be, drag, huh? it'd be so stressful, no you know. So things come, so much things coming through your way. Just be that uplifting person. Be that positive yeah, person sure. that they can always lean on. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure that anybody outside of you guys know everything that your day makes up for. You get up at what time? Six? Man, it varies, but 6.30. 6.30. I get, get up the, at 6.30. You get to practice. Yeah. Obviously, you have school. You got film. How long them film recovery. sessions Recovery. So, in the morning, it'd be like, I say it'd be like 20 minutes because we got to go to practice. No yeah. doubt. But yeah, in the afternoon, it'd be like an hour, hour and a half. And in between, you're going to school. Yep. But in fall, camp, in fall camp, <laughs> yeah, it was, fall camp, it was like, <laughs> we had meetings like every five seconds. You yeah, know? Yeah. It seemed like. So, like, we had meetings all the time. What yeah, time did, you headed the pillow? What time headed, you headed to the pillow? Headed to pillow. I mean, it kind of varies because Mondays we have off, Tuesdays we have morning practice, mm-hmm. and then we have school, and then we have afternoon meetings. Wednesdays we have you know lifts, and then at the end we have night practice. For sure. Yeah. So yeah. coach went morning practice and night practice in between the week. He's trying to change. Which it. is so good like, though too because you get more yeah. time to rest. Yeah. Yeah. So those Wednesdays we don't probably hit the pillow until like ten thirty, eleven. You, you know what I'm saying? Do again the we next gotta do something again next <laughs> day, and we practice on Sundays. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Day after the game, yeah. but it'd be like you know, hour practice yeah. in the helmets. He's one us yeah. bodies don't be too sore. Yeah, you know he wants us to you know still move around after all that you know yeah. banging. So like we have a we have a like a, a NFL league type schedule. Sure. You know, he's really yeah. trying to he's prepare trying to us for. The, he's yeah. trying to prepare us for the league. You know, I really appreciate that though. Mm. Yeah. What, what what I mean, since you're injured now, what type of hobbies or what what like aside from what you like to do in general, what have you picked up or what do you indulge in? Um, to kind of you know pass time since you just can't play. See, I was telling my mom the other day, I'm finna get a PlayStation. I'm finna get a PS Five. Nice. You know, I'm finna nice, get the yeah. game. Respect. To be honest, so you wasn't like that before. <laughs> no, I don't. I wasn't you a time. I wasn't a big gamer. You yeah. know, I, obviously yeah, I didn't either. have time, but I just didn't feel the need. Yeah, right. yeah. the game. Yeah. But now I'm finna just sit back. I mean, just like be on the game, man. You know, yeah. just chill, chill yeah. out. No doubt. Know, I'm gonna so. give you my kid's gamer login. So you got, he's a senior in high school. You guys. He's yeah. very good. He'll get you, he'll get you right. Um, so, who? Give me your favorite. Do you follow, you watch the NFL at all? Yeah. Do you have a favorite anal- analyst guy? Somebody who talks about players. Do you have a favorite guy? Um, By any chance? Probably, I don't think probably, I have a favorite probably analyst. Not, not more than a favorite player that he might yeah, yeah, well, have. Yeah, I want you to. Do, I want you to do this. For, I want you to break down Emmitt Johnson and Quinn Nyes for me. Like, so you're a, you're a, you're an NFL and analyst okay. guy. You tell me what we're gonna see from those guys. You mm-hmm. see him in practice. You know him. All right. So Emmitt Johnson is more of a um, quick. Quick lateral agility guy, you know he can get upfield, but his ability to make people miss in the second level, his his vertical jump cut is freaking unreal. You yeah, know, he can he can jump cut for whatever, you know, mm. get like side to side. He he's, he's really he's really a, his agility his agility is like really like his strength 
being a running back. For yeah. sure. You know, and top end speed, you know, something you need to work on, but everybody need to work on top end speed. Yeah, you no know, doubt. just being real. Right. You know, but he's he's really he's really quick. Yeah. You know, in the trenches. He's elite sure. in that. You know, he's yeah. really he's really, really elite in the trenches. He can you know, yeah. his vision, his vision is insane. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But Quentin Quinn Ives, he's a, he's a taller back, you know, you need to focus on he's He's trying to focus on pad level, you know, yeah. more, you know, trying to get his pass down. But like, I feel like Quentin's like a, he he has a he has a like, he kind of reminds me of me a little bit, but like he's different, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, he's quick, he's quick, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, and he see see the holes and see the holes good. I mean, but it's just kind of it's kind of different with him. I haven't really seen him a lot, mm-hmm. you know. But like, yeah. he reminds me of a young Alvin Kamara. Alvin Kamara, because when he was young at Alabama before he transferred. Um, to Tennessee, he looked almost more like a wide receiver because he was long and he was really thin. Yeah. And he never really quite looked like he was going full speed. When I watched Quinn back in high school, that's what he looks like. I could see him putting on 15 pounds. Oh, yeah. Quinn has a frame that he's going to Yeah, and when he puts on that frame, he's going to be a big back. Yeah, he is. He is. Because right now he's like, I mean, 190, 200. Yeah. You know, he's only a freshman, too. At his height, that's that's skinny. Yeah, he's definitely going to put on that frame. What about y'all quarterbacks? I know Sims was hurt and out. Like, how? what's the temperament about, like, your current quarterback situation and, um, like, how, how, how much – do you feel like the quarterback situation, like, is affecting the locker room, so to speak? I mean, it's really not affecting the locker room that much because, you know, Coach Rule is trying to really, like, pour into us about, like, you know, being together. Yeah. You know, not point fingers, you know. Yeah. It's, it's not what one person is, what we all did. You right. know, because everybody affects the game at some point. That's you true. You know, we, we all affect the game. There's not, there's not one person. So, I mean – that relationship in the quarterback room, they, there is really, is really like friendly. You know what For I'm sure. saying? So like, Coach Rule, you know, he's he's really gonna, you know, put the quarterback out there that gives us the best chance to win, yeah. regardless. No matter who, you know, it is. regardless. Mm-hmm. You know that dude, and he's he's equal. He's, he's fair game. Whoever gives us a chance to win, Makes whoever sense. have the best yeah. week of practice that day, that week of practice. You know, mm-hmm. you have to show up. You yeah, know, you gotta no show doubt. up every week. Yeah. No and doubt. Whoever whoever he feels like, you know, gives us the best chance to win out of that game plan throughout that week. He's going to play. He's going to start. Sure. Let me throw out a, uh, Gabe Irvin joining us here on Let It Flash. Let me throw out a qu- couple quick questions. Um, lightning round kind of thing. Who's the fastest guy on the team? Good question. Fastest guy on the team. If you weren't hurt. <laughs> fastest guy on the team if I wasn't hurt. Sorry, put some respect <laughs> on your own name, fam. That's what I'm about. <laughs> so, if I wasn't hurt, um, I'd probably have to say Tommy Hill. Mm. Really? You know what I'm straight saying? Straight line speed. <laughs> Tommy Hill got the straight line, you know, fastest 40 right now. I mean, he he really he really moving. You know, yeah. I feel like yeah. Tommy Hill is like that guy. No that, doubt, no yeah, doubt. Yeah. yeah. Fastest guy. He going to appreciate that. He probably didn't even know yeah. you were going to say that. <laughs> and, uh, Tommy Hill. Yeah. I'll say Tommy Hill. Who's the, uh, who's the biggest comedian on the team? Who's the guy that makes you guys laugh, keeps you like? <laughs> that boy, Anthony Grant. Look, we really? thinking about him. <laughs> and really? Bro, AG, the most funniest person you ever meet, dog. He, <laughs> I wouldn't have thought that at he, all. Nah, he the type of person, like, you need in life. Like, you, yeah, you for need, sure. You need, you need to talk to him in life, bro. Yeah. yeah. He the type to make y'all laugh when y'all having a hard practice. What? <laughs> that boy, AG, bro. That boy's hilarious. Oh, my That's gosh. Awesome. Uh, favorite pregame meal? Favorite pregame meal. See, like, for me, I'm not like a type of person. Man, y'all training table all be crazy. You don't get like man, you better me. indulge in what Nebraska got. I, I seen y'all training table. Take advantage of the food. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, all those type of foods. Yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> I know, but like, I'm just not like a. I don't really, you know, eat that much you for know, sure. before meals because I don't. I should be thinking about the game, man. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I be really thinking about the game. I don't even want to eat, mm-hmm. but. My nutrition is Kristen be on me. You know, you yeah, got to eat. You got to eat. Like, you better eat. You're about yeah, to burn sure. a bunch of calories. So, like, what about after? What, what's your favorite thing for them to have after you guys eat? I mean, after, really just, I'd be really happy about the, the result. Hopefully, it's a, if it's a win, I'm yeah, just yeah. eating everything. He said, you I know eat. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, All right. <laughs> sometimes they'll have Chick-fil-A for you guys. Sometimes they'll have something else for you guys yeah. after the game. It really, it really doesn't, doesn't matter. matter for me, man. They just have a three-piece He just want to win. This guy just want to win. He said, I eat, sleep, breathe, football, Respect. Respect. Favorite meal your mom makes? Favorite meal my mom makes. Or grandma, whoever's the, whoever the cook is. I say my favorite meal she makes. I mean, I wanted her to make it. She she was gonna, she was going to make it anyways, but yeah. she's been making some fried chicken, some fries no with that um, Hawaiian chicken. rolls. Yeah. Also, hey. also like, <laughs> man. Also like her making a, it's called Santa Fe soup. It got this um you beans, send me that. beans with the soup, and it got. Like a tortilla soup. Yeah, and it got like cheese che- in it, sour cream. Is it with chicken, my question chicken is, tortilla soup? You, 
You, I mean, it's 2023. Yeah. I, you didn't get it off TikTok or Instagram, did you? <laughs> 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 nah, so that sounds like, good. She be throwing it down, man. I'm for so sure. I'm so glad she been here. You know, just cooking for me because I be missing those at home. Yeah, yeah, cook yeah, meals. yeah. It's not like yeah. at home cook know, meals, dog. I know. Like, <laughs> I know. I know. That's I know. different. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah. What about so? In your, you put your headphones on before the game. Who are you listening to? Oh, I'm listening to that Yeet. I'm listening to that Yeet. You probably don't know about that. You, I'm used to that lucky. I know who stuff people are. I used to DJ, man. No, nah, nah, yeah, no. Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm playing. I'm no, listening. I'm playing. To, <laughs> listen to a little bit of Yucky, Lucky, and then some NBA Young Boy. You know, sure. I gotta get NBA Young Boy in my soul. Yeah. You know, for for hey, the games. One time, bro. This was like three, four years ago. Somebody said NBA Young Boy is the goat rapper. Is that true? I mean, what? No. No, I'm just I'm sorry. Go ahead. You were talking to a 20 year old. <laughs> I, know, I mean, I like, just want to hear what he got I, to say. I know, yeah. Like, in our era, top in our, five. Go. Top five. I say. See, yeah. I'm going to pick YB first. Yeah, don't be by it. Like, yeah. We don't care about us. No, no, we, yeah, we, yeah. we dinosaurs. Again, I'm 54 right. years old. Yeah. Rock Kim is the greatest rapper of all time. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I say top five. I'll put number one, NBA Youngboy. Right. Okay. Number two. Number two, I'll put. um. Lil Baby. Okay. Number three, I'll put, uh, see, I don't know. I don't know if Kodak comes in here. Or okay, no, I feel you. Kodak or I Lil Dirk. You. you know what I'm saying? I know that one. You know, I, I was, <laughs> that one I Dirk know. or Kodak, I'm going to go Kodak. Yeah. Okay. Personally. Five, I'm going to pick Drake, though. Really? For sure. Still. Hanging in. Yeah. Okay. I, I, yeah. I, like, I like five at Drake. Yeah. I, like, yeah. I like Drake at five, for sure. Hey, is R&B hmm. dead, bro? R&B? Is it dead? Kind of. I mean, R&B just be trying to make me like... I don't know. It'd be making a mood in a mood. I don't really want yeah, to Chris, Yeah, Chris Brown is like ho- holding on by a thread. <laughs> yeah, he I'll is, you. man. I I'll mean, getting kind of old. I mean, like, yeah. getting there. What about relaxing music? When you need to, you've been bringing up RB, like, game's over, you need to kind of like wind down. What you listening to? I mean, I'm not going to lie. I have this I have this pregame routine where before the game, I go out in the field and I put on this focus and calm music. Yeah, oh, for sure. Okay. Just yeah. to like, like know, the sleep music. Yeah, just to relax my brain. Nice. You know, so. I just view myself. View myself, visualize. visualize myself, you know, making good plays on the field, yeah. Yeah. you know, making the plays I want to make, you know, I just sit by the goalpost and just, you know, look at the whole field mm-hmm. and just like visualize myself, just like, you know, making those spectacular plays, listen to calm music, nice. really just relaxing. Mm-hmm. And that's something I developed, you know, since I was a freshman. So like, I listen, I listen to all that, you know, you know, uptight music, you know, in locker room and stuff, but I take a time and place to just like take myself away from yeah. all that, you know, calm mm-hmm. the nerves, calm all that. No, down and just like, hey, you know, relax. As I'm listening Nothing to you talk, that. I'm sitting here like, man, this dude NFL interview is gonna be crazy. <laughs> like, they should watch this if they want to know what type of dude you are. Yeah, You're a good dude, bro. You're a good dude, man. What else you play growing up? I ran Besides track. Football. I ran track. That was yeah, it. Yeah, I ran track and played basketball. But basketball was a sport where I thought I was good in. Yeah, you know but what I'm saying? Because the homies did it. Yeah, they were the homies. You already know, bro. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. man. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. from where you from? Because he played, he okay. played basketball. He played at Creighton, right? Yeah, I played. And for so Creighton. he had friends who were football players who thought they could play. Yeah, it's always that way. Yeah. It's always that way. Yeah, yeah. And it's you're all, athletic enough to be. They able put to you in for defense. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I was know. defense, bro. I, know. I, I was know. defense, man. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah, yeah. I'm 30, I'm, I'll be 34 on Halloween, bro. Okay. I ain't too, that too, too much far away yeah, from you, so you I know. feel you. Are oh, you old now? Don't worry about that. Yeah. Uh, let me, <laughs> we should give a, um, because there's a lot of practices. There's a lot of getting up early in the morning. There's a lot of taking you to games and stuff. You want to give your, your mom, your family a little bit of credit for what they did to help you get to this point? Oh, yeah. I know. I, I always give them credit. My mom and dad, I, I really appreciate them for, you know, getting me to where I am today, you know, because, man, since I was a little kid, it was telling me, you know, where I could be. Dang. You know, like thought, speaking it into you? Yeah. Word. If I was a little kid, like Word. five years old, six years old, you mm. know, they, like you're going to you're gonna be in college. You For know sure. what I'm saying? You're going to be that. I mean, as a little kid, I'm like, really? Yeah. <laughs> you know, believe in it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, really? So he yeah. a product of belief. You know, yeah. 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 So, For like, sure. them For just sure. pouring into me, you know, just, like, having, because they're, my, my parents are positive, man. They're, they're really positive. Mm-hmm. One thing I learned about them growing up, you know, to where I am now, they're, they're really positive. You no know, they, they only want to speak positive. They really no believe matter what. that if you speak, you know, positive things, they're going to come into existence. It's true. You know what I'm saying? It's very true. So, like, you know, that's what they, they've Death been Death and life me. is in the power of the tongue, Yeah, brother. for real. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it, it, goes, it goes, goes a long way, you know, through the tongue. But, like, they just, you know, always be positive throughout, you know, just... I really just really appreciate them because without them, I mean, like, for sure, you know, I don't, I wouldn't think I would be here. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Man. So, like, you know, just really much respect to them. Yeah, so I got one more question yep. for you. As a uh, from a fan perspective, kind of talk about um, the Husker faithful. 
Yeah, like, that's good. Yeah, what, give a what, shout out to the fans. Yeah. yeah, what has that experience been like for you? Like, I mean, no matter what, win or lose. I mean, Mike said it. They're Michael there. said it earlier. They're there. Mm -hmm. So, like, what does that mean to you? And what's it like running out that tunnel? Hmm. So, well, like, I mean, you can't run now. No yeah. pun. No, 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 no pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> You're wrong, man. I mean, the fans, the fans was like another reason why I chose Nebraska. You For know sure. what I'm saying? Because I, I like, I knew their fan base like 90,000, man. It'd be like yeah. that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. like, you know, what, what Nebraska was going through with their record and stuff, and they still showing still up. Showing you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They yeah. faithful yeah. throughout the whole thing. Word. Winner. Um, like any 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 game, you know what I'm saying. When it's cold, they yeah. still there, right? You know what I'm saying. <laughs> so like, uh, you be in the crowd, like man, oh y'all tripping? It's bro, cold. <laughs> they they would they would do anything that you know for like, sure. to see us out there on our fields, and no it just doubt. means so much yeah. more. You know, it makes us just want to yeah. just like you know play so much more harder. For you sure. know, even though we want to play harder, but like yeah. you know, just seeing them out there, you know, watching us, and yeah. you know, them sacrificing everything just to watch us, and I mean, it's just. It's really a privilege. You for know, sure. it's a really a great opportunity to like, you know, you know, pursue your dreams in front of them. You know, like nice. like you said, running down that tunnel, you know, walking in the tunnel before you go in that gate. I mean, it's just the best thing ever, man. <laughs> it really is. Dang. Like that's incredible. It's yeah. really the best thing yeah. ever. Last thing, um, can this team make a bowl game? Yes. Will yes. they make a bowl game? Yes. We gotta go. start winning some games though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Even yeah. the even the tough ones. Yeah, but yeah. you just you know? talking about like what you see in practice and the players and the coaches you know, y'all are capable. Yes, For we sure. are capable. For sure. Awesome. For sure. Gabe, we appreciate it. Yeah, man. we do, yeah. bro. Hey, get appreciate helping. you, man. Get helping, get I yeah. always say, according to people I talk to, like, man, that was the best interview. But to be so young, it's probably one of the best interviews. <laughs> oh, man, I'm not a huge <laughs> University of Georgia fan, but people from Georgia are cool, man. No, They're yeah. good people. Yeah, you could do, bro. Yeah, not appreciate a Falcons you, man. fan either. But yeah. <laughs> appreciate it, Gabe. Thanks yep. a lot. We Thank come you. back. We'll wrap the show up, do the close. We'll do keys to the game and predictions as well here on Let It Fly Show. Welcome back to Let It Fly Show. It was good talking to Gabe Irvin. Man, he's, he's wise yeah. beyond his years, man. Yeah. But I got to give he's a mature. shout out. He's mature. His parents, bro. Yeah, that's why. His, yeah. I, I mean, he only spoke about, like, his mom and dad as a little, but that village, bro, salute, because he's sharp. I was talking about this the other day on the radio. Um, after Ohio State beats Notre Dame, yep. huge moment. Their head coach decides at that moment to talk about somebody saying bad things about them. We have to live in joy. You have yeah. to live in positivity. You're, right. you're positive around kids right. like that. They're going to understand positivity, and they're going to go on yeah. and pass along. It's generational. Yeah, for sure. If you're negative all the time, and you're always worried about this and complaining about that, like after Central game, man, this yeah. past week, they're, you know, they're complaining about the one play, and I get it. You the lost flag. it. I know. Yeah. I get it, but you nah, got to move you, on. You got to. And you got to be positive. Yeah. Like, no, next time that's not yeah. going to happen. No, We're going to do but, this. But beyond that, though. You got to be positive. We can count out. Uh, a plethora of plays where Central lost the game themselves. It's, it's never the one play. Yeah. It's plays throughout a game. Exactly. Always. Always. Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah. But, so, yeah, but you're yeah, right. He's, you're it, right. Yeah, positivity comes from his mom. That's for awesome. Sure. I'm glad she could hear, be here for the week of his surgery as well. Yep. All right, let's do keys to the game. I want to hear this. Nebraska versus <laughs> Michigan. you the expert. Number two, the, the number two team in the country. First thing you got to do is you got to rattle J.J. McCarthy, their quarterback. Yeah. Last year... I know Nebraska, it wasn't a close game, but they rattled him. His yeah. worst game of the year was against Nebraska. But is it me, or does it seem like he low-key is struggling? Like, well, he it's, had, like, he's, it's like time it's to weird, go. because they're it. not – so they're not – he's throwing the ball at 78% completion rate, Whoa, so he's great. doing pretty well there. Yeah. And he's running the ball okay. But the game he had against Nebraska, they got to him. He had minus 11 yards rushing, two sacks, eight of 17. Yeah. He struggled because Nebraska got pressure. If yeah. Nebraska can get pressure on him, put it all on the running backs, right? Right. Put it all in the running backs. Make them make the plays yeah. against a Nebraska rush defense we've seen yeah. has done pretty well. I think that's the chance. If you can rattle JJ, yeah. rattle him. Yeah, I think for me. Um, that's the first key for me. <laughs> some, of the, some of my perspective on Michigan is like so like different because half of my family <laughs> are are Michigan fans, mm -hmm. and so no matter how great McCarthy is, they're so critical. Oh yeah, you know oh, everybody. So I'm yeah. like, man, yeah, yeah. maybe he's maybe he's not struggling as yeah. bad. I just yeah. hear it. Yeah, he's <laughs> not. He's he's not been bad. Yeah. They're just they're running fewer plays than they did last year. They're running 13 fewer plays last year than they're running this year. Wow. For whatever reason, they're about 57 plays a game. Yeah. They were at 70, almost 70 plays a game. Um, out of all the teams in the Big Ten, out of yeah. every one of them, yeah. there's no team I dislike more than Michigan. Dang. No more, because I they first of all they feel like they invented the game, yeah, which they did not. I mean, they think they talk about the greatness of Michigan, yeah. where Ohio State for the most part is the team that's the great team out yeah. of the two groups. They won the national championship. Yeah. It's you have one championship, a half one in '97. Yeah, you take all the 
championships you won before integration, yeah. you're not anything special. You got uh, a nice helmet. You, uh, so it's basically off of the longevity of how long they've been playing football. They've the been program. playing for a long time. They got a nice helmet. Right. That's about it. And <laughs> and, and, the big, and one of the biggest stadiums. And Ann Arbor sucks. <laughs> um, <laughs> number two. <laughs> number two. <laughs> number two. I'm looking for some trick plays. Um, I know it. I know it's silly to sound maybe, but. I think that Nebraska, in order to stay in this game, has yeah. got to trick Michigan a couple times. For sure. Because physically, man to man, Michigan's better. Yes. But so you got maybe a fake punt. Yes. Maybe you do something special in the return game. Yeah. You've got to do something different. Like like Nebraska came against Louisiana Tech in the third quarter, and they yeah. got in that I formation, and Louisiana Tech had no no idea what was happening. Right. They didn't know. Right. And they never countered. Yeah. You got to do something like that. They've got to come out with something I special. I expect that now. I hope so. I expect that. Flea flicker, double reserve, double pass, fake punt, something. They yeah. need something like that. Triple option, re option reverse. Because then you, because <laughs> you, uh, you got, you steal a possession. Yeah. Instead of punting or kicking a field goal, you score a touchdown. Mm. So if you can do that a couple times where you steal a possession, you're in the game in the fourth quarter. Right. It can work. Um, by the way, uh, Michigan is good at every stat across the board. Yes, I they're, know that. They're great uh, as net punting, uh, kickoff coverage, everything. So, again, you're playing against a team that's solid and really good, so you got to trick them sometimes. You're playing against a potential uh, – National championship team. There you go. Easily. Easily can say, be in – They could yeah. easily, at the end of the year, yeah. be in the final four. There's no mm -hmm. doubt about that. And the last one is – it's simple. This is, this is Big Ten. You got to run the ball and you got to stop the run. Yeah. Nebraska's averaging over five yards a rush. Yeah. We know what Harburg's been doing. We know what they're doing with Anthony Grant in the backfield now that he's by himself. Got to be able to run the ball. Yeah. Against a pretty good run defense. They're only giving up 2.8 yards a game, yep. a, a rush. So they're pretty good. And on the other side of it, Nebraska's, I said to you, best run defense in the country for yep. the most part against a team that's averaging five yards a rush. Mm -hmm. They've got two good running backs, a quarterback that can run, but you got to figure out a way to slow that down. If you can get your yards, even if they don't come to the second half, that's fine. That's right. how they've been recently. Right. If you can get your yards and you can limit yep. Blake Corum yep. and, and, and you can limit them, yeah. you can be good and you can be in the fourth quarter. Now, if they get up early and it forces Nebraska to pass, then I'm worried about it. Then I'm worried about it. Man. But that's you got to do. You got you to you stop the run. You got to run the ball and stop the run. Right. You got to get some trick plays, especially something in special teams. And then the top of it is rattle J.J. McCarthy. As you say all that, bro, yeah. I, I don't know if I got a score prediction for this game. You got to give a score prediction. Okay, I, I, I will. You want to give a score prediction since he can't give me a score but prediction? You want to give me the, one? Okay. The reason why I can't is just because I feel like um, – I don't believe Nebraska gets shut out. I'll tell you that much. No, I don't think they get shut out either. No. Nebraska is – there's no team that has gone longer in the whole yeah. Big Ten getting shut out than Nebraska. Michigan. Iowa just got hey. shut out. All right. First time since 2000. Nebraska hasn't been shut out yeah. in forever. This is what I think. Okay. I think Michigan is so good okay. that we're going to see, like, why they will be in the Final Four of the teams. Mm -hmm. And – the reason why is like I just had a flashback. It was like a, I mean, the way Oregon did Colorado, yeah. man. This game has that potential with how good Michigan is. Oh, the thing I say is Michigan really hasn't. This is the best team they've played. Yeah. Nebraska is going to be the best team. They, with no offense to Rutgers, and Rutgers has got some stuff. But Rutgers offensively is incredibly limited, even yeah. more than Nebraska. That first half was scary, but they, yeah. they dominated. And they figured they had the interception return. So right. I think Nebraska is the best team they played. Uh -huh. So there is a chance that when you meet the best team you played and you've been kind of cruising, which yeah. they have, right. then maybe there's a pushback. We'll see. I, I say, man. I'm gonna put a little grace here, bro. All right, go with some I'm grace. I'm gonna say twenty. I, I'm gonna say twenty-eight seven. That wouldn't be bad. That wouldn't I'm be say bad. Twenty-eight seven. I'm taking. I'm going thirty to twelve. Okay. Nebraska's gonna kick four field goals. That could be. Tristan Alvano gets going. Kicks yeah, four field hey, goals. Speaking of Tristan, that's I know. my guy. I know. I mean, I mean I'm a big on, fan. Tristan. I know. Come on, man. I know. Just. Hit one, yeah. hit two, that's it. and then he's gone. Yeah, yeah that's I, the I, thing. I completely agree with that. Because once you get that first one off when it matters the yeah. most, you yeah. ain't looking back no more. Then you're more. good. You're good to yeah. go. Yeah. I just think it's the, uh, it's the pressures of he a freshman, and he won it so bad. Yeah. I know him personally. No, I know. So I, I we believe, know he can kick. I, we know yeah. he can kick. Yeah, yeah he'll, get it. he'll get it right. He'll be For fine. Sure. And I, in this game, if, if it's 30 to 12, like I said, and it's three, four field goals, then, then he'll I'll certainly get it right. Yeah. Special thanks to Gabe Irvin. For coming that, that in, we appreciate solid. him coming appreciate, down, appreciate especially that. with the, the hip and everything yeah. coming off of surgery. Right. Very special to Val Elvis. My man. 
the technical producer of the show. Yeah. Technical producer. Uh, executive producer, Phil McClain. Phil McClain. We appreciate we him appreciate as well for you. scheduling the Gabe Irvin yeah. interview. Uh, production coordinator. Yeah. Mac. Yeah. Mac Pittman is the production coordinator. Yeah, he's somewhere around here. What? What's? What's your role? What's your title? Social media. Social media maven. And your name is Meg. 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 Yeah. Meg. yeah. That was a good movie, by the way. That Meg. Oh, you see part two? No. Uh, anyway, um, she like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> She's like that movie was stupid. Yeah. I don't want to hear about it anymore. Um, never a bad time to give Omaha steaks. Want to remind not. you always. Here's an example. Get that tomahawk down here that I that I thought was here. Here's a great example. They have something <laughs> called the Premier Assortment. Okay. okay. This is 149 bucks, free shipping, and you get. 22 total items. So you mean to tell me my birthday is on Halloween and you're about to tell somebody to get that for me? You get four filet mignon. Oh, my God. You get four air-chilled boneless chicken breasts. Yeah. You get four boneless pork chops. You get gourmet jumbo fries. You get one package of fully cooked beef meatballs, caramel apple tartlets, steak seasoning, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Dang. You get that shipped to your house. Everything right now is 50% off. 50% off right now, everything, as part of their semi-annual sale. Right, because every day is a good day to get them all Every To get or give. Let's be a giver, yeah. too. Let's give a little well, bit. Well, I like steak. I know you do. Yeah. I do, too. I know you, too. Uh, next week on the show, yeah. we're not quite sure, but I know we're going to have a former Husker, yep. for sure. Got to. And maybe a current Husker, too. Right. We'll, we'll see how that goes. For sure. Josh, take us away. Hey, it's Josh Jones here with Michael Severe. You know how we do it. It's a Let It Fly show.